a hindu man married a second uh, wife after converting himself into the uh, islam and this case when came before the supreme court hello friends welcome to plutus ias from today onwards we have started a series for the prelims uh, for the past year questions in the law optional and today we are going to discuss one such question that is on the uniform civil code and what was that question write a critical note on the introduction of civil, uh, uniform civil code first uh, sharing about the relevant content i will be discussing the desired structure of the question because in the main exam your content should be presentable and it should be readable to the examiner when it, it is readable you will be getting very good score to make your answer readable we need to follow certain guidelines and those guidelines are first of all is start with the introduction it should be 20 to 30 words only okay and in case of low questions your introduction can be around the article or the section on which you, uh, the, the given question is talking about for instance in the uniform civil code you can start it with the definition part or you can start it with the article 44 where the state is required uh, to formulate one uniform civil code for all the citizens fine when you end the introduction there should be a transition paragraph this transition paragraph self connect your introduction with the body part when it will be connected smoothly you, your answer will be having a good flow and flow is required in every question in every answer fine after transition paragraph you directly go on the key demand of the question key demand and you will be writing main part of the answer main body fine this main body will be having different parts in case of low questions we generally divide this body into three parts one part will be having pro uh, pro it means it will be represented in the in favor points of the given topic then you will be countering the given uh, given points then again you will be writing the same thing but you will be taking helps of the case law given by the supreme court in various judgments in the third part of the body you will be writing about the current affairs which is in the recent uh, which, which is in the recent news and after this you will be writing one transition paragraph to transit yourself for the conclusion part transition paragraph for a line in the end you will be writing conclusion or the way forward depending on the number of questions number of marks allocated for each, for your question students please keep this in mind your answer should have all these parts introduction then transition paragraph then key demand you will be writing here first general argument pro and against then you will be taking help of the various supreme court cases then current affairs see the biggest problem in the law optional is that people know many uh, legal arguments uh, related with the question but they don't follow the right structure and this is uh, this is the main reason they are not getting good score your main body part should be having these three components general argument then the specific case laws case law will be again in favor and against pro and against 
वेर यू विल बी राइटिंग द लीगल परस्पेक्टिव लीगल की पॉइंट देन द करंट अफेयर्स देन यू विल राइट ए ट्रांजेक्शन पैराग्राफ फॉर यूर कंक्लूजन पार्ट विच विल बी ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ डिस्कशन इन द बॉडी लाइक द इफ इफ द इफ द आंसर इज लाइक यू आर सजेस्टिंग ए सोल्यूशन देन इट शुड बी पॉजिटिव एंड इफ इट इज नेगेटिव यू कैन क्रिटिसाइज इन द कंक्लूजन पार्ट सो लेट एस डिस्कस टूडेज टॉपिक अबाउट द यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड हाउ वी शुड राइट ए आंसर ऑन द यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड first let us understand the meaning of uniform it means when an act is applicable to all the parts of the india and it will be applicable to all the citizens irrespective of the religion when this is the meaning of uniform in uniform civil code okay and civil it means it will be regulating civil matters what are different civil matters like inheritance rights second marriage age marriage matters divorce related matters then adoption this is the meaning of civil in the uniform civil code okay and what is the meaning of code code here means a single set of law law how uh, what it will be containing all these uh, uh, legislations will be compiled into a single code which will be applicable to all the citizens irrespective of the religion then we call this uniform civil code after writing this information in the introduction then you will be starting with the transition paragraph transition paragraph here should be relevant what you can write here in the transition paragraph you start writing the present status present status of uniform civil code only a single state in india that is goa is having a, a uniform civil code it is not uh, legislated for the entire territory of the india and along with that you will be writing you can show creativity in your answer how you can show creativity here you can start with personal law personal laws you can uh, use a hub and spoke model here in the hub and spoke start writing hindu marriage act then you start writing special marriage act then muslim personal law shariat application act and other legislations for other communities like this you can make your and you can enrich your answer with the help of diagrams it will break the monotony in your answer after writing the transition part you will start writing the main body part so here we can discuss on a separate slide the main body part in this question first as you know we have written the current status and we know there is something uh, lacking in the current status so first let us start negative points related with the uniform civil code it means we will be saying like this code uh, is having number of challenges which are as as follows first you can mention here the diversity it is very difficult to accommodate large varieties of cultural and social practices followed by different communities so it it is a one challenge second religious freedom you can write here that different religious communities have different religious practices there is a fear psychosis in the society that they will not be able to practice their religion freely after the uniform civil code this is the second challenge third challenge is the practical difficulty 
वट इज द प्रैक्टिकल डिफिकल्टी लाइक दिस इज ए कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव लॉ इट विल बी वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स बिकॉज इट विल कंटेन ऑल द पर्सनल लॉज ऑफ डिफरेंट कम्युनिटीज सो प्रिपेयरिंग ए ड्राफ्ट और मेकिंग ए लेजिस्लेशन कंपेराइजिंग ऑल द पर्सनल लॉज विल बी ए बिग चैलेंज इट विल बी ए कॉम्प्लेक्स टास्क टू क्रिएट डिजायर फ्रेमवर्क फॉर द लॉ फोर्थ यू कैन स्टेट lack of political will our political parties are not interested in uh, giving it a uh, in giving it in the form of legislation why they fear that their vote bank uh, may be uh, displaced because of uh, uniform civil code because it will be very difficult to reconcile all the diversity of indian society and the different religious communities so they also fear the backlash from the voters so they are not uh, serious about the uniform civil code next now you have written the negative part related with the uniform civil code now it makes your case very strong that there is a need to change the existing status about the uniform civil code and uh, before that we know we are writing a answer for the law optional so in the law optional you must write the legal criticality you can give a heading legal criticality from the eyes of supreme court after giving this heading you can start here writing various judgments of the supreme court pro and pro and against both for example here you can start with the saira banu case this was a case in 1985 which came before the supreme court in this case one muslim lady approached the court for demanding maintenance and alimony on the divorce but the main conflict before the supreme court was that uh, crtc section 125 provides that a lady should get alimony on the divorce but the muslim personal law Uh, prohibit this kind of arrangement for the muslim lady so now the court was confused which uh, act should be given uh, primacy in this case ultimately supreme court decided to provide alimony and the maintenance for the muslim lady but when it was decided there started debates and discussions whether secular law will prevail over the personal law and uh, uh, it will hurt the religious freedom of different communities because of this debate and discussion when people are protesting government came out with a separate legislation in the 1986 which diluted the supreme court stand on the uh, application of impersonal laws on the application of uh, secular laws like the crpc section 125 was given uh, primacy over the personal law in case of uh, saira banu case so after dilution of the application of the secular law again a situation came in front of the supreme court in the case of sarla mudgil case first case is saira banu case second you can quote here sarla mudgil case and this case revolved around a polygamy a hindu man married a second uh, wife after converting himself into the uh, islam and this case when came before the supreme court supreme court again got confused which act to give primacy like the personal law here which is hindu marriage act or the uh, right of a uh, right of a person muslim person who can marry uh, four times here the court decided that uh, again this second marriage is void because hindu marriage act does not uh, provide for the second marriage and the person was hindu before getting converted himself into the islam here again supreme court upheld the application of personal law this again started a debate now personal laws are given preference but here supreme court mentioned because of this difficulty practical difficulty in applying which is not legislated like here they they were not having any uniform civil code which can be used in such case so supreme court relied 
on the personal law and decided the case there supreme court suggested there should be there should be a uniform civil code and government should try to give it effect as per the article 44 after writing this legal criticality involved in this case you you will be required to transit towards the positive part now you know that even supreme court stated that we require uniform civil code then i will start by giving one transition line that transition line will be about that our constitution article 44 states there should be a uniform civil code which is equally applicable to all the citizens and this is this is beneficial for our society and the various regions for significance are as follows when you quote this transition then you will start the second side of the main main body what is the second side positive part of this topic and the positive part of this topic can have a number of points hinting towards social justice gender justice and the points can be as follows first you can tell gender equality it will promote gender equality for example in case of inheritance rights like uh, in the hindus for the hindu community they have amended their act like parliament have amended their act which has given effect equal uh, inheritance rights for the girls but certain communities are not having uh, this kind of right for the women so if a uniform civil code is enacted by our parliament then they, there can be gender equality this is one benefit second benefit can be uniform marriage age uniform marriage age now there is there are different marriage ages for different community it creates problem third polygamy some religious communities have rights regarding polygamy so there is no uniformity regarding polygamy after uh, enactment of uniform civil code there can be uniformity then you can have divorce process as we know the grounds and methods of divorce are different for different communities and this creates sometimes injustice for the women so there is a strong need that there is a uniformity in the grounds and the methods for the divorce and the fifth point fifth benefit of the uniform civil code is alimony or maintenance as we know in the sairabanu case supreme court she faced a difficulty in getting alimony after divorce so there is a need that there should be a uniform code which will provide alimony or the maintenance rights for every women irrespective of the religion six point it will be promoting national integration because citizens it will create a sense among the citizens that they they are under a uniform act and because of that feeling you will be having national integration and next benefit it will promote secular principle in the indian society we know when uniform civil code be applicable irrespective irrespective of the religious nature of any community then it will promote secular credentials in the next it will simplify the legal landscape simplification fine after writing this positive part now you can make a point that this uniform civil code can have all these benefits so it is desirable that we we, are, we should also have a uniform civil code here you need to give one transition that transition can be of some based can be based on some information here you can give arguments like taking clue from different countries like in the us they have legislated a act by which the state controls civil matters for all the citizens you can give here example of us and france in the france government has enacted 
a civil code itself fine so by these two examples you can make a point so it is desirable for india to have a uniform civil code but the way forward should be based on now you are proceeding see here you have made transition towards the conclusion and in the way forward what you can write this is a very sensitive very sensitive and polarizing issue so it requires proper debates and discussions between different stakeholders then negotiations and adaptations on the basis of changed reality of, of our society on this polity note you can end your answer i hope now you know the different parts which which should be written in a, in an answer and in the uniform civil code specifically i have given you the content i have told you the transition part and the main body part this should be included in a, in a complete answer in the slides i have written all this content with regard to the uniform civil code let us have a glance over all the slides first i have defined uniform civil code that it is equally applicable to all the citizens irrespective of the religion and it will be comprising all the personal laws related with the inheritance matter uh, marriage divorce and adoption fine this is your introduction after introduction i have written the current status you can code this information with the help of a Uh, hub and spoke diagram which will enhance the quality of your answer then i started with the arguments against the present situation and the arguments were religious freedom second diversity practical challenges and the po political resistance fine we discussed all of them after discussing the negative part you will be telling criticality from the eyes of the supreme court and here you are discussing two cases sahabano case you can concise this content i have written the full information so that if you are reading from the slides you will understand the whole issue here itself when you will write criticality from the eyes of the supreme court by quoting these two cases sarlamudgal and sairabano case you will be giving a transition here transition you will be telling the positive thing like because of all these neg uh, negative impact of the present situation we require a change what change we need a uniform civil code and that is also stated in article 44 uh, by our constitution makers and because of all these reasons and uniform civil code can have following consequences following positive consequences if enacted we have written all the positive consequences like gender equality in inheritance second uniform marriage age third polygamy and maintenance can be easily uh, uh, tackle with the uniform civil code then equal divorce rights for all the women then national integration secularism simplification of legal procedure are some other benefits of the uniform civil code after uh, telling all the positives now you can make your point that it is good to enact uniform civil code for india and what we can do we can take the hint from the other countries like US and the France they are also having uniform civil code and the, in the end the way forward should be our situation is very complex we are having different communities and the diverse religious social practices so we need to uh, do negotiations debates discussions before going forward i hope uh, now this topic is clear to you in our next interaction we will be discussing few more questions this is a series where we are going to discuss one question every time i hope you will you have enjoyed my discussion of the uniform civil code thank you